Hi, my name's Andrew Payne, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the 19th of November, where we're going to be talking about men's mental health. And in talking about men's mental health, we're going to be exploring two key questions. The first question is why are men and boys struggling? What does the data say? What's happening? What are the various factors that are creating this problem? And the second key question that we're going to explore is, what are we going to do about it? Practically speaking, how do we help men and boys to be the very best version of themselves? We're going to look at things like the testosterone crisis. As a hormone, testosterone often has a bad re reputation. It's seen as the thing that makes so many men so aggressive, and yet testosterone is hugely important for male physical and mental well-being. And the levels of testosterone across the male population, across the globe, are falling. They've been falling for some time. So what's the impact of that? Why are they falling? And how do we reverse that drop? We're going to explore the topic of psychological safety, a bit of a trending buzzword, but what does it actually mean? What does it contribute towards improving male mental well-being? And how do you actually deliver on psychological safety in a fast pace working environment. We're going to look at the role of men's communities. There have been an explosion of varied men's communities across the UK over the last 10 to 15 years, which is really exciting. But why has there been an explosion of men's communities? What's the value of those communities? What are men saying within those communities? What can we learn from those communities? These are some of the things that we're going to be talking about on the 19th of November. My name's Andrew Payne. I really look forward to seeing you there.